Our headliner, very, very funny. You can probably see him on Comedy Central. I want you guys to make it super loud for Greg Edwards, everybody. Oh, man. Keep it going for Albert, everybody. Hilarious. Keep it going for Harpole. Super funny. Milan, so fucking funny. Oh man, I wish y'all would have kept that picture of me up there, man. That was uh, that was weird with the duck. What's up with the duck? So I do like ducks. I just didn't know what was up. I was like, do I got ducks in my jokes or my? It's like my ducky, you know? I don't know. Um, Happy Black History Month. Can I say that? I don't know. I don't, I'm always weird. I don't, I don't. I'm always weird about it. Oh, I do want to give a PSA for black folks. Uh, we are tired of everybody appropriating the eggplant emoji as a dick. That's ours. That's ours. You know what I'm saying? Everybody uses it. Like, I don't have a black dick. Come on, man. You better use a banana peel or a fucking raw hot dog or something. You know what I mean? The eggplant is ours. You know what I mean? Putting that out there, that's what they told me to say, you know. <laughs> Word on the street. Um, what's going on with me? What's up, Jesse? Good to see you. Um, I found I learned a new way to discriminate against people. Very proud of it. Very proud of it. Maybe you guys can join in with this. Uh, my new way to discriminate against people is strictly on their handwriting. Yeah, yeah. If you're the type of person that puts a line in the middle of a number seven, fuck you, man. <laughs> you're an asshole. Go back to your country. <laughs> Nobody loves you. Why are you being so extra? I know it's a fucking seven. You don't have to put a t-shirt on it, you know what I mean? What you doing? If you dot your eye with a heart, you need therapy. <laughs> what are we, 13? Go hug your dad. <laughs> fucking put a line and a zero. I know it's a fucking zero. <laughs> Ugh, hate the way people write. Put a hat on that lowercase a. Just make it an A. It don't need no hat on it. <laughs> hate the way people write, man. My wife, my wife makes her bees all busty, you know? Why your bees got big ass titties, you know what I mean? <laughs> Put a bra on those bees. <laughs> I'm so angry. I don't know why I'm so angry. I hate so much. I got so much hate inside. Um, you know what pisses me off nowadays? Uh, I hate carpets. Yes. Yeah, yeah, who said yes? Yes, yes. you hate carpets? They're, they're gross, right? Yeah. Fucking, who likes carpets here? <laughs> gross. <laughs> gross. Carpets are disgusting. Having a carpet is like throwing a towel on the ground for 30 years. <laughs> and just letting it sit. It's disgusting. We're too rich for that as Americans, right? We don't need a carpet. Strictly hardwood floor. Tile. <laughs> what else pisses me off? Oh, yeah, this one. Um, I hate when people put on chapstick during like serious situations. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, this is my grandmother's funeral. You know what I'm saying? Lick those motherfuckers. You know? Come on, man. Come on, man. Have some decorum about yourself. <laughs> ah, thank you, Jesse. That's my man. Um, I got married during the pandemic. Got married. Don't clap. Don't clap. You don't know her. <laughs> you know me. That's how, that's how bad the pandemic was for me. I married a woman. <laughs> I could have married anybody, you know. I 
could have married my CD player. You know what I'm saying? My dog, nah. Married my girlfriend, you know. Anybody married? Anybody married here? Listen to that sadness. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's better than that. It's better than that. It's actually fun. Married people are just tired. That's all it is. Just tired. <laughs> Hurry up, Greg. <laughs> Wife's dope. Kind of an asshole, Let's just be serious. Kind of a kind of an asshole. Kind of mean. I like it though. I like mean women. I've always had like mean. I like mean chicks. My wife's a little bit of an asshole. Like, alright, uh, I got my genealogy done, right? Got my ancestry.com done, and I am 15% white. Ooh, hurts to say. <sighs> Every time I say it, it hurts so bad. Ooh. My wife been calling me white boy. <laughs> Rude! I gave this woman a ring, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> calling me white boy. God damn, this black history month, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hurts my feelings. She told my white friends, my white friends calling me white boy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm. Hurts. Uh, within that 15%, I am 7% Irish, which is crazy. That means even the white part of me has been enslaved. <laughs> That's a great fucking joke, you guys. You got to know about Irish slavery for that joke. You, know? you got to care about white slavery for that joke. It's work. Got married. Uh, we were supposed to get married, uh, you know, before God tried to kill us all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God tried to get us, right? <laughs> um, and it sucked, man, because we had a wedding all planned. Shit, so hard to plan a wedding. I had to tell all my family. You know, I, don't, I don't like talking to them. You know what I mean? <laughs> I had to call my mom's boyfriend and tell her, like, hey, Robert, you're not going to be able to fuck my mom in San Francisco. You know? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Ugh, I don't want to do that. I don't like that dude. I tolerate him. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got married. We got married in Hawaii. Uh, we got an Airbnb. Y'all fuck with Airbnb? Yeah, I know, right? I know, it's because of the, like, it's 200 bucks, but then, like, a $4,000 cleaning fee, right? That's what it is, yeah, I get it, I get it. I like Airbnb still, though, you know? It gives you, like, a homey feel, you know? And they finally invented a platform for us to be able to have sex in strangers' homes, you know? It's kind of dope, you know what I mean? I never thought when I was 17 I'd have this magic rectangle in my back pocket and I'd press a button and be able to fuck at a dude named Tom's house, you know? <laughs> it's great. We were at an Airbnb in Hawaii. I'm having sex with my wife right next to this dude's great-great-granddad's Civil War ashes. Yeah, yeah. You don't get to do that at Best Western, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Airbnb is the shit. I love it. Wife's dope. Black woman. Anybody dating black women? <laughs> I love doing that part. I love doing that part. <laughs> Educated black woman. Super smart. She got her master's in some shit. I don't know. <laughs> some smarty shit, you know. It's hard dating an educated woman during these days, you know. Uh, we getting these battle of the sexes arguments all the time. Um, we were watching Handmaid's Tale. We were watching Handmaid's Tale. Y'all seen that shit? Yeah. She's like, man, don't watch that. <laughs> don't watch that. Yeah, don't watch that with your wife. I'd rather watch the Cosby show than watch Handmaid's Tale <laughs> with my wife. My wife watching this shit, and she's like, look at this shit. Look what women have to go through in the world. And I'm like, babe, this isn't real, you know? <laughs> this is a dystopia in the future, you know what I'm saying? She's like, Roe v. Wade, and I'm like, all right, all right, you got a point, you got a point. And my wife, she's super smart, and it's, um, 
it's hard to argue with her because she's so smart. She basically, she basically starts comparing the complexities of a woman's vagina to a helicopter, right? <laughs> and then she starts uh, comparing the simplicity of a man's penis to a Honda Civic. <laughs> And I was like, uh, what year Honda Civic, you know? <laughs> we talking 2010, 2000, I need to know, girl, you know what I mean? She's too smart. She got her master's in public health. I know what the fuck she got her master's in. What kind of yeah. asshole would I be if I didn't know what she got her master's in? Uh, she's a midwife. Y'all know what that shit is? Y'all know what mid y'all know what midwife is? That Erica Badu shit? <laughs> that witch shit? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's cool in there. We know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Palo Santo. You know what I mean? Just, you know, crying and shit. You know, it's all good. Um, she's a midwife. It's a lot of strong pussy talk at the house, you know? <laughs> Strong pussy. Yeah. I used to be, you know, I used to, I'm from the South, I'm from Virginia, man. I used to be one of those dudes just calling dudes, you fucking pussy. You fucking weak ass pussy. You know, pussies are strong. God damn. You ever seen, you ever seen birth? God damn. Pussies are strong, man. I was watching the Super Bowl and I was like, man, everybody in this game came out of a pussy. <laughs> This is wild. <laughs> Pussies be working. <laughs> Look at him. I will never call somebody a pussy again, you know. Dicks are weak. <laughs> you, know what I mean? you hit a dick, everybody's falling down, you know what I mean? Dicks are weak. Pussies are strong. Yeah. yeah. I feel like pussy should be in the periodic table of elements, right? <laughs> Pussy not in there, and aluminum's in there. Come on, get out of here, aluminum. <laughs> some way for pussy. All right, all right. <laughs> PSY. <laughs> sixty-nine, sixty-nine. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I can't help it. I can't. It's my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I like that joke too. I love women, man. I watch the WNBA. You guys fuck with the WNBA? Look at that. Sad. <laughs> why? Can I ask why? I'm serious. Like, why? Why y'all don't like the WNBA? Like, what? What? It's okay. <laughs> we can talk. I'm talking. Y'all can talk back to me. I'm fine with it. Why y'all don't like. Huh? Can't you hear that shit? Can't dunk. God damn. <laughs> all right. All right. I hear that. I hear that. Can't dunk. Um, you know. But I mean, they still balling. They still, you know, they still shooting. They making 30, 40 points a game. <laughs> you know what I mean? For real, I mean, they're doing, they're doing the same thing. It's just, is it just the dunking? I mean, you think, uh, you guys know they're doing this plan on their periods, though. You ain't right? Come on. <laughs> You think LeBron James would dunk if his dick was bleeding? You know what I mean? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Load management like a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> These women are balling, <laughs> bleeding. God damn, shooting threes. I fuck with the WNBA, man, you know. I think about it, I'm like, who's on that period this game? <laughs> that should be a stat, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Candace Parker, 36 points, and she's been on her period for a week and a half. It's a long ass period. God damn, she is the MVP. <laughs> I don't know. Um, everybody's asking us about kids. Somebody's asked me today. Somebody told me that you got a kid, right? I was like, no. Do I? <laughs> no, I don't have a kid. I don't I don't want any kids, man. 
Kids are assholes. It's like, it's like, they are. You're right. I used to work with kids. Kids are jerks, man. I used to work at this private school in Beverly Hills. These kids used to call me Bubba from Forrest Gump. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah! Hella racist, right? It's an old ass movie, you know what I'm saying? I've even seen that movie. <laughs> Fuck those kids, man. <laughs> Hope those kids get hit by buses. <laughs> I hope they get chicken pox, they get shingles <laughs> when they get older. Me. Uh, I did work with Suge Knight's daughter. That was great. Looked just like Suge, too. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little girl. <laughs> just all buff and shit, you know? It's like, yeah, she was sweet, though. He's like, so, you know that Suge Knight's daughter? I was like, chill, dog. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't know why I threw that in there. I just thought about it. It's probably like 15 right now, just holding somebody over a bridge, you know. <laughs> Give me your big state. Uh, <laughs> She's probably that. She probably hates that, you know what I mean? God, could you imagine going, all right, all right. I'm not even going to go on that tangent. <laughs> imagine being Shug Knight's daughter. <laughs> Your dad killed Tupac. I'm just trying to study algebra. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Your dad killed Biggie. It's like, oh God, I want to be a cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I don't want any kids. I uh, don't. Yeah, man, you can't have fun with a kid, you know? I was hoping they'd be able to bring that kid in here. I wanted that kid to hear all this shit. <laughs> I wanted to say all the dirty shit in that kid. Um, yeah, you can't, you can't do drugs in the Dominican Republic with children, you know what I mean? <laughs> no fun. Uh, that's why I want the world to create a new condom. We've been using the same condoms since the early 1800s. I want to create a condom that just covers up the tip. <laughs> right? Come on, man. That's where all the poison is, right? <laughs> Why do we need all this extra plastic, man? I've never bought a hat that covered up my knees, you know? <laughs> New condoms for everybody. Where you at, Apple? <laughs> Give me some Apple condoms. All white. <laughs> All white apple condoms. I wish uh, ribbed condoms actually came with ribs. <laughs> you know be dope? I get hungry after sex sometimes, you know? <laughs> Such a weird joke. I got a weird voice. Y'all hear this shit that comes out of my mouth? My voice sounds like an old black man mixed with an old white man that hates old black men. My voice sounds like Yosemite Samuel L. Jackson. We got sneakerheads in the building, any sneakerheads? I see, I saw some nice kicks walking in here. Nice, I, I like the flips, I like the Adidas flips. <laughs> got your toes out like a player, I see. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got some nice toes, dog. <laughs> you gotta compliment men. Man, we don't get compliments as much as women get, yeah. man. I always compliment dudes. I'm like, hey man, you got a nice navel. <laughs> Like that naval player. <laughs> your doctor is a G with the scissors. <laughs> oh, it was your dad that cut you? Oh, my bad. Your dad is dope. You know, gotta compliment dudes. Um, I like shoes. 
I buy shoes from a lot of different places except for one, and that is athlete's foot. <laughs> I just think it's stupid, you know? I was like, how am I gonna buy shoes from a shoe company named after a foot disease, you know? <laughs> It's like me going to a chicken restaurant called Salmonella Sandwiches. <laughs> going to McDonald's on Mad Cow Mondays. <laughs> Mexicans buying books from Borders. <laughs> it's fucked up, Greg. Immigration is always a weird shit. I'm like, they already work here when they got to go home after work, you know? <laughs> and California was already Mexico, right? Yeah. Right? I mean, I think that's fucked up. Like, California, Arizona, New Mexico? Like, <laughs> how you gonna take a country and put new in front of it and that shit's <laughs> yours, you know? This is my new bike, oh shit! <laughs> Shit is mine. <laughs> New. <laughs> New bike. <laughs> it's racist. Racist. A lot of shit's racist. Um, washing clothes is very racist. <laughs> I'm about to blow your heads. Washing clothes. The white clothes get the hot water. <laughs> Why the color clothes get the cold water? <laughs> White clothes got their own separate load and shit. Color clothes get kicked all together. Blacks, reds, <laughs> yellows. Get your ass over there. And if one of those color clothes get caught in that white batch, ooh, that Negro's going to jail. <laughs> Don't even get me started on bleach, man. <laughs> Hell race. <laughs> oh man. Black History Month. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about Black History Month, man. I don't like it. I, I guess I, I mean I guess I do. I guess I don't. What you think, girl? <laughs> What you think, Tanisha? <laughs> or you, what you think, what you think? <laughs> or you, brother, I don't know. <laughs> All right. feel like I want to do some shit for my people, you know, if I had some, feel like I had some like big bread or something, maybe I'll start like a, a black history condom line, you know? <laughs> I think that'd be dope, just to be able to walk up in Walgreens and be like, hey, can I get a pack of three of those Martin Luther King size? <laughs> can I get a pack of three of those Malcolm XLs? <laughs> Can I get a pack of three of those Big Dick Gregory's? <laughs> Let me get some of those Langston Huge's over there, please. <laughs> That's how I do my black history. <laughs> Talking about dicks and shit, all right. <laughs> I don't know. People of color, ugh, I hate that. I hate people of color. People of color. I hate when country people say people of color. It's like, ugh, ugh, I don't like it. I don't like us grouping each other together like that. The people of color is like, kind of takes away from all the shit like black people did, you know? Like, uh, if we're gonna say people of color, it should be like black people and people of color, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, man, it's like, all right, people of color 
are the Jackson Five, and black people are Michael Jackson. <laughs> Say, man, we got beat the fuck up, man, for that shit, you know? We need to at least have top billing, you know? That's all. That's all I'm saying. Maybe not. Maybe not. Um, been thinking about death a lot lately. Been thinking about death a lot. It's been on my mind. Anybody else? No? Yeah. A little bit? A little bit, right? It's been, I mean, I guess what we all went through. Shit was scary, you know? Everybody with fucking mask on and shit. I miss seeing people chin. You know, like people's like, chins? <laughs> you know, you be at the grocery store, you're like, man, I wonder if she got a nice chin underneath there. <laughs> What's your chin look like, girl? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the pandemic must have been great for ugly people, you know what I mean? <laughs> ugly people were thriving during the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> what your chin look like? <laughs> Been thinking about the apocalypse a lot lately. Gotta tell y'all, uh, I don't think white women are gonna survive the apocalypse. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know y'all been doing yoga. <laughs> I know y'all been rock climbing. <laughs> <laughs> White women love rock climbing, don't they? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think white women gonna make it though, man. I see white women on the street and I just look at them and say, mm, I'm gonna miss you, girl. <laughs> I'm miss you. It's not even a racial thing, man. I don't think black women are gonna survive the apocalypse either. Uh -uh. Black women are way too loud to survive the apocalypse. <laughs> Way too loud. Greg, where we going? <laughs> Damn, girl. I'm going to miss you. Damn. You're fine. All my comedy friends, we talk about it all the time. Everybody's like, Greg, Greg, we're going to need bottled water. We're going to need canned goods. I'm like, what about chapstick? <laughs> Nobody ever thinks about chapstick, man. It's gonna be a lot of rusty ass lips <laughs> during the apocalypse. Not me, man. I'm gonna have a backpack full of chapstick. <laughs> I'm gonna be trading them for pit bulls, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna be the reincarnation of DMX, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna have a hundred pit bulls and some glossy ass lips. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> I got the camera lady laughing. Hell yeah. Footage gonna be all shaky. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No, no, it's great. That's what I want. It's a good fucking joke. Chapstick, man. I got chapstick in my earthquake kit. Actually, that's all I got. In my it's disgusting. I stopped there. That's my wife. I stopped that chapstick. I got like 20 chapsticks in there. No water. <laughs> All fruity flavors, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. Everybody chaps. <laughs> all right. Everybody looks going to be all nasty as fuck. <laughs> no, you can't have my water. <laughs> Look at your lips. <laughs> Put some butter on it. <laughs> I don't have no butter. Get some. Ugh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I've been thinking about death, man. I don't want to die. I don't want to die, man. I finally got, like, everything I want. I got a house. I'm not bragging. I bought a house. You know what I mean? I got married. No, 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 don't do that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I, I, I did it though, and like, you know, I got a wife, I got a dog. I don't do drugs no more. I don't, I won't go hard. You know, I just like mushrooms, you know what I mean? I, I had to quit though everything, and I got everything I wanted. 
and I don't want to die. I don't want to die some dude, some Filipino dude start fucking my wife, you know what I mean? I know he's going to be Filipino, too. I know. My wife likes Lumpia way too much. I know he's going to be Filipino. Fucking my wife, walking my dog. Motherfucker. I'm gonna be haunting their ass, you know? Ooh! You heard that shit? <laughs> I don't want that shit, man. That's why I quit. So I don't do nothing no more. I'm trying to be healthy. I don't fuck with straws no more. Y'all still fuck with straws? Y'all drink out of straws? I don't drink out of straws no more. Sometimes I go to Target and I'll buy a box of straws, and then I'll go to Venice Beach and I'll just throw them in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck those turtles, you know? <laughs> Fuck those seagulls. <laughs> nah, I like turtles. I saw a 400 year old, was it 400? It was 400 year old turtle on Instagram the other day. I just, I immediately just felt bad for that turtle. I was like, that turtle has seen slavery and Barack Obama. <laughs> turtle seen too much, you know? <laughs> turtle gotta go. <laughs> Can somebody put the turtle down? You know what I mean? I don't want to live through all this, you know? <laughs> Kill the turtle! Oh, he's in his shell. God damn it. Oh, man. Think about death so much. I don't want to die. I do. Like, death is crazy. Like, I got a friend of mine. Well, he's not really my friend. <laughs> He's, not, he's like a dude, you know, like, he's like a dude I grew up with that was just around. Kind of a dick, but was just there. So you call him your friend, and then you grow up, and you're like, oh, he wasn't a friend. Dude was an asshole. But anyway, he has testicular cancer, right? And I saw it on Instagram, and I was like, damn, man. Testicular cancer, that kind of suck, you know what I mean? Like, what a betrayal of your balls, you know? Y'all don't think so? I know women, I know y'all love y'all breasts very much, so I know breast cancer is a big deal. But we love our balls, man, you know? You see, you know, you get your, your balls the first time you get hair on them. And you get blue balls together, you know? And then they get together and collude against you to kill you, you know what I mean? <laughs> It's terrible. I don't want to die like that. It sounds terrible. Death sounds so bad. Like, you think, you think when you die, you have the same dick in heaven that you had on earth? <laughs> like, what if you had a little dick <laughs> on earth, and you get to heaven and you still got a little dick? You know what I mean? Wouldn't that be fucked up? You be trying to run into God at heaven's Jamba Juice, you know? He be like, hey, God, man, you know, I got this dick. And he's like, hey, hey, man, we a Jamba Juice, you know? <laughs> you got to email me about this. <laughs> God, what's your email address? <laughs> God, the one and only <laughs> at Yahoo. <laughs> God, you got a Yahoo account? <laughs> Real history, God. <laughs> I don't want to die. I got a dog. I got a dog during the pandemic. Anybody else get a dog? Yeah. Hey, hey, I fucks with you guys. What kind of dog you get? Uh, Central Asian Shepherd. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Was it a rescue? Uh, I mean, we rescued it from afar. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> What kind of dog y'all get? A Bouvier. A what? A Bouvier? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Was it a rescue? No. 
That's cool too. I think all, if you take the dog, isn't it a rescue? You know what I mean? Still ain't dead. Uh, right? They gonna kill it, you know what I'm saying? Rescue? Hell yeah, rescued it. <laughs> he in my house. <laughs> I got a dog. I got a, uh, this little dog just in my neighborhood. I just noticed him. He was wild and out. He'd just be fucking other dogs <laughs> in front of dogs and gates. You know what I mean? And I was like, oh, he's just wild. Look at him. Man, he started uh, breaking into my backyard, my, uh, my fence, and uh, sleeping underneath the car. And I run in the morning so I don't kill anybody. And, uh, and he started running with me. The dog was courting me. He was courting me. You know, He was like, hey, man, you seen any other dogs? And I'm like, no, man, I'm not seeing any other dogs. Great dog. Big old dick, though. Big dick. Dog had a huge penis, man. Yeah. I don't, I don't send dick pics, but I do send doggy dick pics. You know what I mean? <laughs> I got him on my phone. <laughs> Big old penis. Got a, we live in South LA. Most expensive thing I have, and I'm still in the hood. Uh, around a bunch of hood ass kids. Like, I'm trying not to say dick anymore because I heard a bunch of kids saying dick. You know, it's like these kids, I was cutting grass, and these kids were like, my dick! My dick, my dick. And I was like, I can't be saying dick if these kids saying dick, you know what I mean? We got two different dicks, you know? <laughs> so I started calling my dick a cock, you know what I mean? I got a cock now, man. I'm 40 years old, I got a cock, you know what I mean? I've had crabs twice, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got a cock. I've had sex with women that are dead now, you know? <laughs> I got a cock. <laughs> That's what 40 years old means, people. You got dead sex partners, you know. Anybody else? Anybody else besides me? Statistically, it's impossible. You know what I mean? Some of y'all had to have sex with some dead people. All right, P. Vanessa. She would have loved that joke, you know. She played basketball. <laughs> she would have loved that joke. That's funny. Um, what else, what else is fun? Um, been watching a lot of porn lately. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm weird with my porn. I like celebrity sex tapes. What about you guys? No, no, is that not your thing? I don't know, I like celebrity sex tapes. My favorite celebrity sex tape is uh, Pam Anderson and Tommy Lee, right? It's classic Hulu. They did the Hulu thing. That's how old it is. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Like, it's hard for me to watch these new sex tapes. Everybody's just doing it for Instagram likes and you know trying to get their family on TV and shit. You know. But Pam and Tommy, that shit was classic, man. All right. If you haven't seen it, it was on a boat. You know what I mean? It's VHS. The, the footage is grainy. Uh, it was cocaine driven. You know what I mean? It was coked up, but it was in love. You can, you can hear the old oh, baby, old oh, babies. It was nice. <laughs> Tommy had a big old dick, big old white dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> Seen a lot of dicks before I played football. Um, <laughs> but it was, it was, they were, they were in love. You could tell they were kind of in love. You know? Like I want to see a, I want to see a, I want to see a weird celebrity sex tape. I want to see like a. Missy Elliott celebrity sex tape. Wouldn't that be hot? Just girl on girl in a trash bag, you know? <laughs> Little white kids dancing in the background. <laughs> Go, Missy! I watched Lion King the other day. Is it me or does Pumbaa have a fat ass in Lion King? Here are the top four animals I'd like to fuck in Lion King. 
Pumba number one. You guys already know how I feel about warthogs. Nala, of course, right? Come on, Nala's hot, sexy. Feel kind of weird about that, that Simba's lady. We just saw his dad die, you know, that's kind of mean. She's hot. Number three, Rafiki, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Greg, you shouldn't be fucking monkeys, that's how HIV started. <laughs> that's a sexy ass monkey, right? Got that red booty, cute. <laughs> Number four, Ed the Hyena. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg was the voice of Ed. I wouldn't fuck Whoopi. But I fucked the shit out of that hyena. <laughs> and Scar, because sometimes you just want to fuck a mean ass lion, right? All right, I'm Greg Edwards, you guys have been great. Thank you very much. Keep it going for Greg Edwards, everybody. Keep making it loud. Yeah, give it up. That was amazing.